All right, so I got these two systems ready to ship out. Um, this one is actually a three zone system, one with a radiant in floor zone as well as two baseboard zones. So this one's utilizing a mixing valve for the radiant in floor to be able to limit the temperature to around 125 degrees, whereas the baseboards will be supplying about 180. Um, this one over here is for two in-floor zones, so no need for a mixing valve. This one will just maintain temperature uh, for both zones at 125 degree maximum. Um, both of these units will be using outdoor sensors, so that supply temperature will change depending on the outdoor temperatures. Um, for example, if this one is going to be supplying 180 degrees at the coldest part of the outdoor reset curve that this will follow. Uh, so for example, if it's zero degrees outside, it's going to be pumping that 180 degree water towards the baseboards. And if it's about 30 degrees or, you know, 35 or so, it might be only supplying about 150 degrees. So that outdoor reset on these and using that outdoor sensor will save you fuel long term. Uh, highly recommended for any condensing or modulating boilers that are out there. Uh, most of them now all have the option for outdoor reset. And again, highly recommended to use that if you want to save fuel. Um, as well as also implementing these variable speed pumps. So both systems are utilizing these VT2218 variable speed Delta T pumps. And those are also going to be able to ramp up or down depending on the what's going on basically in whether it be the in-floor zone, um, how cold that slab actually is and how much heat loss there is. And if it's baseboard, it's how cold that room is. It's gonna all affect what the heat emitters are doing. They'll be able to maintain a specific delta, whatever you set that pump to. So um, like I said, these ones are just completed. I like to work on some of them uh, at, at the same time so that I'm not, I have the same tools out. Sometimes I'll do two, three, four systems at once, uh, just get them all laid out here. Um, it's sort of, it's, it's whether I do sort of an assembly line style and I just keep pumping them out or if I kind of hold two, three or four back and sort of do them all at the same time, have the right tools out. That way I'll do the, um, the layouts, mount the boilers, do the piping, uh, then do all the electric. It, it kind of makes things a little more efficient, um, less room for error. Uh, so yeah, these ones are going to get crated up, um, with some two by fours and some OSB to protect them sort of make my own pallet, uh, palletized system out of it. And we'll get these on a, on a semi truck and ship them out. Uh, if you guys are interested in having a system built or if you'd like me to design a system for you or you need any consulting, um, I'll leave my contact info in the description and give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, really appreciate all you guys that have been uh, fans and watching all these videos and uh, like I said reach out if you guys got any questions or you'd like me to build you a system and we'll see you guys in the next one